New question. The member from Wellington, Halton Hills. Mr. Speaker, my question is for the Minister of Health. As we know, Kalydeco is a new drug which appears to be a miracle treatment for some cystic fibrosis patients, and it gives hope to families with loved ones who are suffering from it. In recent weeks, we have listened to the government's lame excuses for the delays in the approval of funding for Kalydeco for cystic fibrosis patients like Maddie Vanstone. But it's not just Maddie Vanstone. In my riding, I've been approached by three families who've been affected by cystic fibrosis and to whom Kalydeco represents hope. Three families in my riding. Today, I'm standing up for Maddie Phipps and Shannon and Matthew Bain, all of Georgetown, and Lindsay Shaw of Fergus, all of whom have cystic fibrosis and all of whom need Kalydeco. My question to the minister is simple. Why are these families being forced to wait so long for her to announce funding for Kalydeco? <laughs> Thank you. Minister of Health, Long Term Care. Well, well, thank you, Speaker. And uh, I want to be very clear that Kaleidico is a drug that offers real hope for some people with cystic fibrosis. I know that, Speaker. Uh, and I, I think it's important, though, that we do negotiate for these drugs. We have worked on a pan Canadian approach, Speaker, on this drug and 29 other drugs. And we have successfully uh, reached agreement with drug companies at prices that make it able for us to Remember from more Halton, come to order. more people. For the opposition parties to, su to suggest that we simply pay whatever price the pharmaceutical company says they want to charge us is simply irresponsible. Yeah. It was not their practice when they were in office, no. and I can assure you that it's important that we negotiate the prices. And, Speaker, I hate to say this, Answer. but some pharmaceutical companies are relying on this kind of public pressure so they can charge higher drugs than they're charging in other Thank you. jurisdictions. Thank you. Supplementary. Well, Mr. Speaker, the minister knows we're standing up for our constituents, so she should understand that. It's now been more than a year since I first raised this issue with the minister, and we're still waiting. I first raised the issue of Kaleidico with the minister in December 2012 in an email to her office. I spoke to her personally on February the 20th last year, and again on March 20th of last year. And I raised the need for Kaleidico funding in the legislature in debate a year ago tomorrow. I followed up in question period on May the 2nd last year, when I specifically asked the minister to commit to doing everything she could to expedite the process to approve this drug. While the government appears to be hiding behind a broken process, families worry and wait for more than a year. When will the minister announce approval for funding for Kaleidico for Ontario cystic fibrosis patients? Thank you. Minister. Speaker, I think it's important that the member opposite acknowledges that the company, the pharmaceutical company called Vertex, speaker, member from Suffering uh, Caledon, come to order, second time. Company um, was funded to the tune of 75 million plus an additional 75 million promise for the development of this drug by the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation in the United States. This research and development was funded by the public speaker. I think when people donated to that cause, they expected patients would benefit. So I think the company Vertex needs to be held to account. They need to negotiate. We ought not pay higher prices for this drug than in other jurisdictions. If you really care about this, I urge you to contact the pharmaceutical Answer. company and say, take your responsibility to the people with cystic fibrosis seriously. Negotiate with us as Canadians. Canadian children. Thank you. 